What's going on everyone? Ken in here and uh, what's going on? How's everybody doing? What's doing? What's doing? It's a beautiful sunny day, man. Let me tell you, it is a hot one. And uh, I thought I'd bring Slinky out for this live. He's going to hang out with us today. I'm going to kind of watch him do his thing. We're going to talk. We're going to learn. We're going to, uh, you know, see what's doing. What's up, Burn Spoon? Exotic Rustic TV, sup? Ollie Gould, Mason Helm, what it be from Texas? We got Heen Seng Kimura. I don't know how to say that name. Sorry. Uh, yeah, man. Let's see. A bubbly, bubby the blob flip. Blubby the blob fish. Blubby, blubby the blob fish. How's that good? Oh, look at this, by the way. We got a slink getting a drink of water. I think Slinky's, uh, this might be the first time we see Slinky actually go in the pond today. I don't know. He got himself a little drink. It's a hot one. Maybe Slinks will, uh, want to get a drink going. Let me flip this camera, guys, so I can look at you, but you can look at Slinky. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, what's going on? Um, what's going on with everybody? What's new? Huh? No? Nothing? Ah, uh, everything's good. So, uh, we had a really fun week, really big week for the channel. I want to say thanks to everybody that watched the videos this week. Um, definitely helped us out. We got some nice numbers, man. That was really cool. So thank you all. Uh, turns out everyone loves Kate. So do I. Uh, that was a lot of fun doing that video with her. It was just a random video that just kind of hung out uh, the other day, you know, finding that iguana. And Kate's always, always good for a laugh. That's why I married her, because she's a funny lady. And uh, I want to say hello to Craig Cooper. Uh, what's up, Craig? Uh, thanks for uh, watching the live feeds, buddy. I'm glad you're enjoying them. We're having fun doing them. We love doing them, and I like to interact with all of you uh, and kind of just get you guys uh, get you guys a little behind the scenes of what's going on, you know, showing Slinky walk around here, showing him investigating the new Aquascape Ecosystem Pond. It's a beautiful little facility. So anyway, yeah, man, everyone loved that video with Kate and I. Kate and I are doing a lot of videos together. Uh, we are married, so there's going to be a lot of opportunity for us to have some fun. And I love doing things with Kate because she's just, you know, she wants to learn. She enjoys animals, but, you know, she's kind of like a, a regular person, man, which is neat. And uh, it's fun watching her kind of become more adventurous. And, uh, you know, I love that. So very cool. I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. I don't know when Kate's going to be home, probably around 5 o'clock tonight because the children are uh, visiting with their dad. So they are gonna be coming home a little bit later today, so I don't think we'll be on the air. But um, in the meantime, we're having fun. We're watching Slinky here today. And um, gosh, guys, then we had another fun video from Paul Cafaro's house, which was a lot of good, a lot of, a lot of, good, a lot of good times. I'm not really talking well. Sometimes I, um, I lose all the ability to speak. I, I'm not a smart man is what I'm trying to say. But uh, while I'm talking to you guys, look at how OCD I am. I'm plucking weeds out of my gravel that I put down here. Look at this. Got to get the root and everything. There you go. Later. I'm going to have to add some tortoises. What do you guys think? Uh, the biggest slinky is eaten. Very good question, Tyler, because that's the subject of a video I just shot yesterday that will be coming out real soon. Uh, you'll see exactly the biggest thing that Slinky Boy has eaten, and it's actually in that big old belly of his right now. Let's see if I can zoom in. There's a belly. Slinky had a big meal yesterday, didn't you, Slinky? You did. Look, he's coming over for a little scratch. I love this lizard, man. He's really becoming a very tame uh, member of the camp, and he's a big part of the camp, as you guys are sure are aware. Uh, very cool. Thank you, Connor MD. We appreciate that. We had so much fun. And Kate has fun, too, you know. Kate is what you would call a ham like me. She enjoys uh, getting on camera and having fun. Although she gets mad at me because, actually gets, she gets mad at Tom because she doesn't think Tom uh, gives her the best looks in the thumbnails. So um, I don't know. I think she's beautiful. Yeah, I don't care what the thumbnail looks like. Uh, so anyway, what's going on? You see that piece of wood? Uh, I talked to my friends at Yardco Rocks, and we're going to have a really cool donation from them. I'm um, pretty excited. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut a circular piece of wood. i got to get thicker plywood, but what I'm going to do, look out, Slink. I'm going to cut a circular piece of wood, 
And we're gonna have a really cool, no, you can't go in there, Slinky. Can't go, no, you don't wanna go, look at him. He wants to probe in there and see what's doing. See how totally um, curious monitors really are? Anyway, so we're gonna put a circular piece of wood over this. I'll cover it with gravel, but we're gonna put a nice piece. I don't know if you guys remember when we built the pond, we're gonna get a nice piece of teak um, and it'll become kind of a, uh, a place when I do lives, uh, I could put an animal on the teak piece of wood, some bromeliads, and we could talk to each other. I can explain the animals to you and just have a really beautiful um, piece of wood that we can kind of use as a focal point when we're talking about animals. In the meantime, I just want to keep an eye on the Slinkster. And if I have to, guys, I hope you don't mind, but I'll have to put you guys down because I don't want Slinky to go in the big pond. It might take a long time to get him back. Uh, you live in Vero Beach, David Co. I would love to see the camp. Yeah, man, well, you know, we're not open to the public. Uh, this is my home. So what I like to do is show you guys via the video. Um, we may be doing something special here in the future where every once in a while we do a special giveaway where uh, you may win an afternoon at camp. We'll see. But this is my home. Uh, but there's so much that I'm going to be doing to Camp Kennan. And uh, man, it's, it's going to be uh, a special place. We're actually over here at the Asian Turtle Pond. What's going on, Giorami? Can different musk turtles, cro musk turtles crossbreed? I'm sure they can. I haven't seen any examples of that, but judging from what I know about different sliders and stuff like that, you can get hybrids. Um, yeah, man, so anyway, we are, you know, we're just putting some water in the Asian Turtle Pond, and we've got this whole back area that I'm gonna be landscaping and doing stuff with. You guys saw the, the video from last week where I talk about all that. But look at Slinky Go, man, he's just kind of, looking around, seeing what's what. I love it, man. What's up, Jesse Robinson? I love San Diego. You know, San Diego is German for a whale's cloaca. Uh, yeah, man. So um, look at this. I love, look at this guy. He is just the best lizard ever. So we've got some updates. Uh, let's talk about, uh, we'll show them in a little while, but let's talk about our good buddy, uh, the new, new member of the camp, I'm talking, of course, about Angel. Angel's doing very well. We'll go over there in just a little bit. Um, I also want to tell you about Edgar. The news on Edgar is kind of concerning, actually. I had him x-rayed. Uh, there's definitely some things we found out with the x-ray. He's actually got some problems with his spine, and it looks like he may have had some MBD in the past. Uh, the animal was given to me. It lived uh, in New York City for a long time, and so I got to get a little bit more word from the veterinarian because it was secondhand given to me. I haven't had the call yet uh, that I've spoke to Dr. Heather personally, but it looks like he may have some uh, long-term health issues that I didn't know about that may have just reared their ugly head uh, over the winter. And that's funny. Uh, animals tend down here in Florida, if they're stressed, the winter always brings it out uh, because you know the temps get a little cooler and um, you know, their diet changes from different foods that I use. Uh, so, I don't know. We're going to see what happens. Uh, we're going to get the skinny on Edgar, and I'll be sure to give you guys an update, man. So, I'm hoping that um, it's not something that's going to be, you know, really bad for Edgar. But uh, that's why it's so important. You know, that's why I really like to have animals, um, you know, their whole lives or just know their history. So, it's is kind of a bummer. I hope that uh, it's not a big deal. Um, man, Hazel's Reptile Eats. Don't forget to strike that like button, everyone. Oh, that's very nice of you. Thank you for doing that for me. I sometimes, uh, you know, don't remember to, to do that, I guess. Um, now, I don't know how far I can go, guys, but why don't I just place you up here, if you guys don't mind. I'm going to put you all right there, and I'm going to go get the slinkers and bring them back, because we can't have Slinky now, I hope that's stable. We can't have Slinky wandering too far away from the Wi-Fi. And watch, when I come over here, oh, I, can, I don't have to yell because I got a microphone on. When I come over here, it's possible Slinky would get a little, see, he gets a little weird because he's on his own mission. Go, go back that way, will you? Keep going. Back to the camera, dude. Let's go. Nothing like walking your lizard. Um, pretty cool. I want him to kind of stay over in that area because, again, my Wi-Fi is not so great back over here. That you guys are practically on the threshold. Come here, Slinks. I'm gonna just put Slinky up here. Oh, he's heavy. He is getting much, much heavier, this lizard of mine. 
Uh, so anyway, yeah, so that was kind of an update as far as on Edgar. And we'll go see Edgar here in a moment when we walk over there. Slinks, do me a favor. Go explore. Why do you have to explore the areas where I don't want you to go? How do you like that? Oh, oh, let's, oh God. It's not easy to do with one hand, I'll tell you. But uh, I'll go above and beyond for you, my friends, on these lives. Let's see, Slinks, he got a drink. Why won't he just take a swim? Go on, go on. I think he's nervous, because he's not, go on, go swimming, dude. Oh, he's getting another drink. Go on, dude, go explore. Go explore the water. That is awesome, man. These would make for some great photos. What do you guys think? Gosh, look at that. That, my friends, is a cool lizard. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, well, Amber, if I jump in with him, we'll lose my microphone. <laughs> uh, Slinky does not eat, uh, ever eat fruit and vegetables. Darren 2206, 22206. Uh, he's a carnivore, um, and I didn't feed him live food. Actually, Slinky ate a very large uh, food item yesterday. It was not a live animal. I don't like to feed live animals. The only thing that he gets, you know, that are live are going to be fish because I pull them right out of the pond uh, and they don't really last long. So they're not suffering very long. Um, I'm a softy. I don't like to feed live, live animals. So, um, you know, it's more humane and it's better for Slinky. But uh, yeah, anyway, there he goes. Just doing his thing. I'm just, while I, while I was talking to you, I was pulling out a little string algae. Happens. It's a pond. So, uh, but you can see the water is clear. And then, I don't know if you can see, it's actually clear to the bottom. Look at all my cichlids. I could throw some food out for the cichlids so you guys can kind of see uh, what they're up to. That would be a fun one too. So let's see, Slinks. I like when he stays on the patio. So let's just have him keep going that way. And then I went out and I placed all these uh, food containers. I got a bunch of food containers to make my life easier because now I don't have to go to the warehouse to get the food. I just keep the food right where the ponds are. Like for each, you know, I got one for the big pond. Let's put it in there. I got it for the big pond. I got it for the front ponds. Um, and it's nice and sealed. Let's go over here. Da -da 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 -da. Kate and my dynamic together. Hold on, who's talking? Uh, adds a lot to the videos, both the charismatic and hilarious on your own way. Really enjoy how natural and honest it is. Thank you. Uh, congrats on this week. Thank you so much. Now, who was that kind person? Uh, yes, Kylie, thank you so much. I'm sorry to stay focused on the food. That's probably boring, but I was reading that. Uh, thank you so much, Kylie. Yeah, Kate, Kate, it's a lot of fun, man. Uh, she's a natural. And uh, we're just having fun. Watch this. Do you see the fish? Let's see. Come on, fishies. There they go. There are my cichlids. Oh, it's so awesome. And guys and girls, it is so cool to be in this pond and to just have my mask and snorkel on and just these fish have become so tame already they just crowd all around me uh it's amazing it is really really a lot of fun and we're not even close to done yet guys so it's funny you know i've been thinking as you guys may or may not know i've had like a career i've already had this career in television where i'm going to tell you a bedtime story i'm going to tell you a little bit uh, about me. I'm going to flip the camera if you don't mind so I can see all your comments. So I, I kind of want to tell you, someone asked me a couple weeks ago, like, what is my reason for doing this? What's my mission? Uh, obviously education, uh, conservation when I do work with some of the zoos and some of the, uh, you know, like the Turtle Survival Alliance and the TTPG and all that stuff. Um, so basically, um, you know, my mission is basically to give back to the, these animals. Like, I already live in the house I want. I already got the cars I need. I'm not really interested in those kind of things. So what I'm trying to do with what I, what I make on YouTube is I'm gonna build out this backyard to become the ultimate habitat for these animals. That's gonna be my goal. So whatever happens on YouTube, however big we can get, um, I'm basically gonna put my money back into uh, habitat for these animals. And if things get crazy, let's dream big, man. You never know. It might be a slow crawl, but who knows? If, if we get to a point where Camp Cannon's doing big things on YouTube, um, I would love to be able to just buy land and leave it. I just wanna leave the land uh, natural. So that's kind of what I wanna do, you know what I mean? Um, I just wanna be able to afford acres of land, leave it natural, 
And that's kind of going to be my goal. So I want to put that out there into the universe, you know. Um, the cool thing is, is a lot of the things I do with Camp Kennan, because we have a YouTube channel, I'm able to kind of get sponsorships and get, you know, like obviously Aquascape came down here and they really just helped me out in a big way because they love what I'm up to and they love the animals and they wanted to make sure we had a really cool pond to film in. Um, so a lot of these things, you know, you're not really paying full price for. So I can take that money that I make and put it back into other things that I'm unable to get for free, you know, or unable to get at a reduced rate. And I really just want to see, I really want to create and show people just let's make some cool stuff for animals, man. Let's, uh, let's do that. So that's what the goal is here at Camp Cannon. I'd like this place to become a really amazing sanctuary in the backyard uh, for some animals that definitely need it and we need to teach people about them. So that's what's going on, man. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think I had you, who's the JB Photos? I think I had you as an instructor at Woodward uh, back in the day and he loves my channel. Oh boy, if you had me back in, the, if I was your instructor at Woodward, woo, you might have got some crazy stories then, son. <laughs> Good times, man. Now why is Slinky deciding to go into these ferns? Do you see how inquisitive these animals are? The monitor lizards are just always looking around and then look, it's a hot one. So the leopard tortoises are just kind of hanging out. What's up, Brent Lammer? Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate your donation. So Slinky, what is he up to, man? Where is he going? Oh, look, he's, he's, he's going in the jungle. He's making like Axl Rose. Oh, there he goes. He's back out. So he's back out of the jungle. All right. Well, you know, for those of you unaware of Guns N' Roses' number one hit, Welcome to the Jungle, I was dropping a little hint on that one. Get it? Welcome to the jungle. All uh, right. Anyway, so there is Slink still doing his thing. I think he wants to kind of go back into his enclosure, which is over there. See? Slinky, you, you heading home, bud? He's looking for foods, I think. I don't know. It's pretty slim pickings over here, Slinky. But in the meantime, uh, we did a video yesterday, follow-up with my buddy um, Fred Grunwald. And you're going to see what happened with his uh, retic on Sunday. Uh, there's Edgar. Still not a lot of movement out of Edgar, but he, uh, which makes sense if his spine is injured. Somehow it's a strange thing. And then also, uh, but he is eating and drinking. I give him soaks every day and we've been feeding him. But um, I got to talk to the folks, man, from, uh, from Bush. Because they looked at the animal while I wasn't there. Uh, Molly Bailey, I love what you do. I've always loved monitors, even from childhood. Joanna from the Rescuers Down Under was always one of my favorites. Keep up the wonderful work. Thank you so much for your uh, support. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, let's see what Angel's doing. What do you think? You guys want to see Angel? Angel, we moved. See what I did? I moved the uh, enclosures. And then I put, um, I actually, these are the Zoomed tortoise houses. See that? Yeah, orientation lock. Sorry, people. But that's a Zoomed tortoise house, right? So what I did was because, because I keep the animals outside, I added a smaller gauge wire because I was nervous because um, what happens is you can potentially have rodents get into there, and I don't want that to happen. So I've screened those off a little bit with a smaller gauge. Uh, but here is Angel. Ladies and gentlemen, there's my little buddy. What were you eating, Angel? Oh gosh, there's Angel. Look at that. How cool. So Angel's uh, doing well, eating everything in sight. I got to give Angel a lot more soaks because as Paul said in the video, um, albinos require a lot more hydration. So we're making sure that happens. But there is Angel. Uh, is it true, hold on Brett, is it true the enclosures for inside need to be something other than a tank so they can't see out, trying to figure this out, it's true. It's helpful, it's definitely helpful. You can always um, block out most of the sides of the tank, but you may want to look into uh, these enclosures. I like these from ZooMed. Um, they're, they're very good and they're easy to move. Uh, you can, of course, do some substrate, a little water dish. They have a hiding area, so it's, it's a lot easier to do that with them. Um, the tanks, the tortoises can stress themselves out and uh, it would be kind of a, you know, a bummer if you had something like that happen. Uh, Chuck Myers, what's this? 
Uh, I had a tortoise named after you, Kenan, and it died this morning. It crushed you. Oh, man. That's a bummer, Chuck. I'm sorry, buddy. Um, it's always a bummer when animals pass away. And sometimes, you know, when you're dealing with small tortoises, that happens more frequently because, you know, we know that there's the failure, failure to thrive situation. Um, so I'm sorry, buddy. Why don't we all send him some positive vibes, okay? In the meantime, where the heck is Slinky? Uh, shout out to Christopher Supper. What's up, dude? Did anyone... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, people. Oh, there he is. This is why you never take your eyes off your lizard, okay? You hear that, people? Oh, hey, don't you dare start getting... He's getting a little brave. You see, he's enjoying this walking around, and I'm afraid he's going to bolt. And in which case, I'm going to have to end the live here because <laughs> we don't want him bolting too far. No way. Come on, buddy. Why you got to be like that? Come on, bud. You know I love you. You know I love you. Oh, bring him up here. We're bringing the slinks back up. Oh my God, my legs. I rode uh, nine miles on the mountain bike today. I was pretty excited about that. Let's put, hey, don't whip me with your tail, dude. Gosh, it ain't easy being a lizard daddy, especially when you're doing uh, live videos. So anyway, where was I and where were you? Let's look at some of your comments. Um, it's lagging. Yeah, don't worry. It's lagging because I went a little too far away from the uh, Wi-Fi extender. So look, he's really thirsty in this hot sun. See that guy? Hi, Slinky. But he's still, I don't know why he doesn't go into the pond. I still haven't seen him like just go in the pond. He just wants to look cool around it. I think he's just uh, posing right now. That's what we used to call dudes who got really cool BMX bikes but never did any tricks. We call them posers. And right now, Slinky's a poser. You're really not much of a water monitor if you're only like kind of hanging out by the side of the pond, Slinky. Why don't you go swimming? So I do have a funny thing that happened though, guys. Um, uh, Austin Trombele, I'm shouting you out. So I had a funny thing happen last week. I was, I was uh, motivated and I went and got Pinky because Pinky's been getting much better like Slinks. And I uh, wound up getting Pinky and um, she comes out and I put her by the pond and homegirl split. I mean, she dove to the bottom of that pond and it took me about 45 minutes to get her butt back out. So I almost had, I don't think we'll be doing that with uh, Pinky anymore. She's a little smaller than Slinky and uh, boy, she just split on me and I was tripping. We don't want to lose the pinkers, no way. Uh, what's going on? What's going on? Whips World looking to move to Tennessee, maybe. Five acres. Can't wait. Lots of critters. Sounds good to me, dude. I hear you. It's always fun uh, when you get some land. That's why I moved down to Florida and I love it here. So congratulations. I wish you the best in Tennessee. 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 Uh, yeah, man. Um, let's see. <laughs> when am I getting Komodo Dragon? I don't know, Cole. going to be pretty difficult. Pretty difficult. Uh, let's see, let's see. I like watching the videos from the UK. What's up, William Rawcliffe? Thank you for watching. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, someone was asking me about a new red foot, and you're gonna have to remind me. I'm not sure I know what you're talking. Oh, the, oh yes, um, uh, Lego. His name's Lego, because he looks like a, uh, a Lego. So, um, oh wait, this is it. This is gonna be the first time Slinky goes, uh, no, he's just gonna walk across the darn Wait a minute, where's he going? Look at that, oh, I love you, Slinky. Ah, oh. see, it's not so bad in there, buddy. Stay in the water, man. There he goes, there he goes, people. This is what I wanted to see, a swimming Slinky. Keep going, Slinks. Go up on your log, oh, look in there. Maybe there's a yummy food. Come on, maybe there's something to eat in there, Slinky. Who knows? There he is, he's just exploring. This is awesome. You guys are witnessing Slinky's first official swim on his own in the pond. How cool. All right, Fish Shinobi. What's going on with Goliath? Good question. Uh, my buddy Mike Haug has been taking care of Goliath. He says Goliath is doing well. Look at this. Look at Slinky probing around under the water, looking for little crevices and places to see things. Holy, hi Slink, I'm right here. We're watching you, buddy. We're watching you. Uh, so he's doing good. Uh, Goliath is feeling better. And uh, Mike Haug is definitely watching him. So I'm happy about that. And that'll do that. So there you go. Wow, look at Slinky just doing his thing. Now this is awesome, people. Look at how beautiful it, oh my. I may just end this live and go swimming with Slinky. Nah, I won't do that. Oh, look at my pitcher plants, everyone. 
Look at my pitcher plants. These are carnivorous plants. Look, look at that. My friend John Adams brought them from Tennessee, strangely enough, and they're starting to sprout. Look, I got flowers. How cool. So now what happens is if you're a little insect and you fall into there, huh, well, you're getting eaten. Anyway, so that's my little carnivorous plant uh, area, which I'm really excited about that. So cool. And Slinky has been swimming. What do you think, Slink? You like your new pond? If you stay being a good boy, I'll continue to bring you in the pond. Look at this. He's probing. He's monitoring. That's what he's doing. He's looking for a little snack, maybe. Puts his tongue in the crevice. There is a water snake in here that has um, kind of taken up residence. And I definitely don't want Slinky to eat him. So I hope he doesn't find him. Because once Slinky locks onto something, you're not getting him off. Goodness gracious. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, is he going to go under the tunnel? Is Slinky going under the tunnel? Yes! Look at this! Slinky's using the tunnel! Oh my gosh, let's, let's go meet him on the other side. Da -da 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 -da. Can you imagine if you were just hanging out and you didn't know what this pond had in it and you kind of were hanging out there and then saw this guy come out? Well, hello there, people. Got a lizard for you. Nice! Unreal! I think Slinky likes the pond, everybody. Yes! God, that lizard's awesome. So now he's got some enrichment happening here. He's just kind of looking around. He's going to go up the waterfall. What do you think, Slinks? Going to go up the waterfall? I pull out the yucky stuff. It's actually not that yucky, this string algae. It actually means that the, it's going through a life cycle, this um, pond. So once this happens, uh, that string algae will eventually get taken care of because of the natural bacteria that are growing up inside this pond. And then we'll be without string algae. So look at Slinky. I think he's loving this water right now. I'm so glad that he started to swim. Will he go back underneath the pond or is he going to crawl out? What say you, my friends on YouTube? I think he's crawling out. I don't want to wiggle my toes too much because we wouldn't want Slink to get confused and think it's a nice, juicy fish. Uh, let's see. Somebody else out there. Uh, Kayla Clayton, thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. The iPhone overheated. That's a bummer. Sorry, everybody. Let me see if I can um, salvage. I got to stay in the shade, and we got Slinky. We got Slinky um, in the pond still. He's under the, he's under the deck. So anyway, guys, sorry about that. Yeah, it was the iPhone went and got overheated. So I'm so, so sorry about that. But, you know, again, guys, look, these are the lives. They're sketchy. Um, but I, I think I'm one of the only like animal YouTuber that goes live consistently. So at least I hope you guys appreciate that. Um, I love to talk to you guys. I love to see what's going on and I love to do these lives. So apologize, but let me get to some of the nice folks who, uh, who were very, uh, kind and donated even when the stream went down, which was, I mean, that's really kind of you. Uh, William Tanner. Hey, Ken, I love the videos. Finish, just finished constructing another outdoor enclosure for my leopard tortoise. Hoping to add a few more to my collection. Hope to see you at the Tampa Repticon. Uh, I don't have any plans on going to the Repticon right now. Um, but what I will say is this, guys. If you live in the Chicagoland area, I would recommend you head on over to Aqualand on Tuesday. Because I'll be at Aqualand, guys. So that'll be awesome. Um, oh, can't see out of the camera? What do you mean you can't see out of the camera? What do you mean no picture? What are you talking about? Just getting, you can hear me, but no pick. Oh no, this is a mess. I don't know what's going on. Let me rotate. How about now? Can you guys see me? What a bummer. I think I'm going to have to uh, do one more shout out and let you all know I will be at um, Lee Miller's ship. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, guys, I don't know what's going on. It's pitch black. It's such a bummer. Uh, we're going to go back to uh, the 20th century then. We're going to pretend this is a podcast, a radio broadcast. Uh, I'm going to say goodbye. I apologize. I can see me. I don't know why you can't see me. Um, so sorry. But go to Aqualand Tuesday. I'll be there, and it'll be a lot of fun. So uh, there you go, man. Uh, sorry about the way that this uh, live went. Um, it's really hot in Florida, and my phone got jacked up. Melissa Hunt, there's your shout-out. What up? All right, everybody, thank you so much. Like and subscribe, even though this video kind of sucked at the end. With the technological mishaps, what are you going to do? Thank you, everybody. I will talk to you all soon. We've been on 30 minutes, and uh, I think I'm going to jump in the pond with Slinky. See you soon.